before I discuss singly linked lists, I just want us to refresh uh, what an array list is and just try and understand what we do here. So what we have here is what we call an array list of objects. But if you look at the actual array, it simply stores pointers to objects. So we've got the five students, John, Peter, Susan, David, and Ben, that are separate objects. And then what the array does, it just has five pointers that point to each one of these objects. And then the array is pointed to by a pointer called list. So list is not really an array. List is simply a pointer which points to an array list. The array list doesn't really contain students. It's simply placeholders for pointers pointing to students. Okay, so when we look at a, a singly linked list, what do we see? We again have the five students, John, Peter, Susan, David, and Ben. But instead of the pointers being uh, held, in, held in an array list, they are now kept by separate things called nodes. So the singly linked list has five nodes. Each node points to a, a object or its value. And then it also points to the next node in the list. So if you look at John, John is pointed to by the first node and the first node points to the second node. In the array list, we had a pointer called list that pointed to the whole list. But when we work with singly linked lists, we have the pointer called head and it simply points to the first node in the list. Notice the last node in the list points to null. So it's a null pointer indicated in this video by a square with a cross inside. Okay, so let's start and build a new singly linked list. So the, const the class is called person list SLL. So it simply means we've got a list of people and we're going to use a singly linked list to build this list. There's one parameter attribute called head and in the constructor head is assigned to null. So head right at the start is simply a null pointer and the singly linked list at this stage is empty. Okay, so we're going to be working through this code and we start on the application class where you declare an instance of the list. So you say person list SS SLL is a new person list. So what we have created here is head that's a null pointer. So at this stage the singly linked list is um, empty. Then in the application class we say ll.addjohn. So student John now needs to be added. So the first thing that happens in the add method is a new student is being created with the name John. Notice at this stage John has nothing to do with the singly linked list. It's simply a new object representing John. In this example we're going to be adding new nodes to the tail of the singly linked list. So we call the method add to tail. Notice what we sent through is new student. So when we arrive in add to tail, the, the pointer value also points to the same object which new student points to. But the action that happens here is a new node is created called new one. And when you create this new node, you send value as a parameter to its constructor. So new one now points to the new student, uh, John, and its next pointer is automatically set to null. So we've created this new node called new one that points to John and its next pointer is null. But at this stage, it's not part of the singly linked list yet. The next statement in the add to tail method is checks whether head is null. So in this case, head is null because the list is empty. And then what it simply does, it makes head point to new one. So head points to that node, which now becomes the first node in the singly linked list. That's all that changes with this if statement. The head pointer simply points to the new node. So effectively at this stage, John has now been added to the list, which is a singly linked list that contains one node. 
So we conti continue and ll.add says it wants to add the student Peter to the link list. So the first thing that happens inside the add method at the top is the new student object is created representing Peter. Again, notice it's not part of the singly linked list yet. The method add to tail is called, which creates a new node called new one. That node points to the new object representing Peter, and its next pointer is initialized to null. So new one is now a node that represents that points to Peter, but it's not part of the singly linked list yet. Obviously, head is not null, so we go into the else part of the statement that initializes the method, the uh, pointer current to point to head. And then it simply says while current.getNext is not null. What this while loop simply does, it tries to find the last node in the list. So at this stage, current is pointing to the last node in the list. So in order to add the new one to the tail of the list, that needs to, what, what needs to happen is that current, which currently is the last one, its next pointer now points to new one, which simply makes new one now the tail of the list. So the only thing that happens here is the pointer of current is not null anymore. It now points to new one, making new one the tail of the list. So effectively, the student Peter has now been added to the linked list. It's at the tail, and the linked list currently contains two nodes. So we move on, and we want to add Susan to the linked list. So a new object pointed to by new student is created that represents student, still not part of the linked list at this stage. We call add to tail, which creates a new node called new one that points to, to Susan and its next pointer points to null. Head is not null, so we go into the else part of the if statement which has current point to the first node in the linked list. The while loop inside this else part simply moves current along until it gets reaches the tail of the singly linked list, which in this case is the node pointing to Peter. Once it, it has reached the tail of the list, that tail obviously now needs to point to the new, new node. So the next pointer of current is set to point to new one, and therefore new one will now be the new tail. So we've added Susan to the list, so we now have John, Peter, and Susan inside the singly linked list, which contains three nodes, with head pointing to the first node and the last node pointing to null.